Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I'm currently live streaming. The stream's been going for just about three hours now. And my stream just went down. Well, everything went down. At first I thought the power went out and then I was like, wait, no, those lights are still on. And I heard a click. It was my surge protector that got triggered. I don't know if there was a surge of electricity or maybe probably, <laughs> but it basically shut off everything that was plugged into it, which included my computer and the router for the internet, stuff like that. So I need to reboot everything back up. <laughs> I'm just working on pins. I'm doing Bebe in a box. So far I have a hundred done and the ratio of A to B was amazing. Like the best I've ever had. So that's good because I was not so lucky with some of my other pins. <laughs> so it's good to see this evening out the overall ratio of all my pins. <laughs> oh, my camera's off. Okay, here we go. Start streaming. <laughs> Bailey, come back. Can anyone see me? Oh, there. It just went live. So we are now three hours and 20 minutes into the stream. And look what was just delivered. I didn't even realize as I was opening it until I glanced at the name on the box to see who it was from. And I was like, oh, it's the pin clutch remover. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a try. I had to pause the music. So we could vlog this. Okay, let's give this a go. I still don't have much finger though. I'm scared that once I slide it, I'm not gonna be able to lift it very easily. Here we go, we're trying it. Okay. Okay. Dude. I mean, I'm still grading them. I shouldn't be taking the backs off yet. Holy sh that came off really easily. I thought there'd be like a little more resistance as you push down. Okay, I gotta make sure I have both nubs in there. Whoops. So yeah, this is by Galloway Labs on Etsy. I'll link it in the vlog description. You can get a bigger compartment that holds more backings, but I'm never gonna take that many backings off at once. Like, if this fills up, I'll just dump it and keep going. Because at most, I'll do 100 at a time. And even that's that's more than I usually do. That's what I'm going to do on the stream, though. Dude. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> and of course, I got the pink one. You know, of course. Because it's got a slope inside that gradually pushes the pins off. Oh, and it's ribbed so that it can kind of grip it. Oop, now they're pouring out. I'm just trying to take a peek in there. Yeah, you can get one with a bigger tank, but I feel like that's not really necessary. Like, when are you going to remove that many backings at once? Maybe some people do. <laughs> I'm so excited. I did not think this was going to come in time for this pin launch. Because I've seen videos of this around for a long time. But I didn't, like, well, not a video, just, like, a picture, and I didn't fully understand it. Like, I thought it, you literally just, like, it was something to hold the pin backings, and then you still have to pry it off. But no, it pulls the backings off. So once I saw that video last week, or whenever that was, everyone was tagging me in it. And I was like, oh, now I see how it works. Like, it looked like there was such little resistance, and really there is. It's so smooth. And it's 3D printed. Sick, dude. I can't stop. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh my god. That is that is awesome. And fast forward. It's past eight o'clock now. My stream ended, and I'm finally done. The pins for today. I met my quota of 400 pins. I'm not done for the night yet, though, because it's not crazy late yet. It's 8:22. I'm going to sign some prints because there are a lot of them to sign. <laughs> oh yeah, also I need to check comments on my vlog, reply to them. I gotta check tweets. I haven't checked any social media stuff all day. So I need to catch up on that as well. So the official pin launch day is going to be Sunday, December 1st at 12 p.m. noon Pacific Standard Time. So that is the official announcement. I'll probably say it in every vlog until that time happens. And I've tweeted it out. I gotta make a fancy graphic that I can share on other social media too, which probably is what I should do tonight, not the signing of the prints. 
Maybe tomorrow I'll make it. I just want to get out of here. want to go chill. Sign some prints. Chill with Christian. Oh, she's showing off now. Baby, baby, you're gonna be really poly, scratchy, scratchy, really poly. All the little menu things. Oh yes, oh yes. And little Kiki, we've seen lots of Kiki today, but we have not seen Midna. She didn't come visit even one time. Not even one time. But I also didn't visit her, so I guess we're even. I guess we're even, huh? Oh, Christian's folding some boxes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't close them, though. You have to leave all the boxes open. Otherwise, it's extra work for me. Thanks, Christian. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I Last still have boxes, stuff out here. The small ones got closed. Well, they weren't supposed to be. <laughs> Although the very first launch... I did close all the boxes, and then I quickly learned that is not efficient. <laughs> it's an extra step while you're folding, and then it's an extra step when you're packaging. You gotta open it back up. Some of these need to be emptied because they're discontinued. I have more that are not even in bins yet. I might reclaim some of the bins I use for other stuff. Like, I have a couple being used for cat toys right there. I have a couple right here. One has stuff that's supposed to go on my pin board. What is even in the bottom one? Oh, the male cat pins. I might transplant those into a different container just so that I can have spare bins filled underneath. And as these ones get used up, I can replace it with a full bin. That'll also make it easier for inventory because of the weighing of the bins. I already have the average weight of the bins calculated. But I have stuff in other containers right now, such as this turkey pan. <laughs> and then I have some other baskets here, so... We'll see. I'll do some rearranging, but I do the inventory by weight, so, yeah. I mean, I can still do it by weight with these containers. I just have to empty it out to weigh the container. This thing has seriously been such a lifesaver. I guess I already vlogged a lot about it, but, yeah, Galloway Labs. Very good. Highly recommend this thing if you do a lot of stuff with enamel pins. Oh, and here's a comparison. Someone asked what prints I was going to have available on the shop, so I brought some over. They're not going to be this small. These are just already unpackaged. So, I was showing them as an example. But there will be Petal Dance again, and Bakery, and Newt. But that'll be your last chance for those. And then the new ones are Noise, At Peace, and First Line. I still need to add this one to my Redbubble, but yeah, these things are on Redbubble, so if you miss my store launches, they're still available there. It's just not the hollow prints. These are specifically hollow, and then if you want other types of prints, there is always Redbubble. Ah, yeah, oh, and we have more pins here. Look at all these ginger buns. So many. I got through four bags. Woohoo! So if I do four tomorrow, and then three and a half the next day that's not even half and i should be pretty good pretty good should be sitting pretty okay let's sign at peace because it's right here on top <laughs> i think i'm going to use a green pen green or orange i use different colors depending what print it is <laughs> actually only half of them I just realized <laughs> knives out so I started signing prints I just did two then I was like wait maybe I should start signing them on the front now because they are a little bit bigger and I know some people like the signature to be visible when they display the print so I did a poll on Twitter and we'll see what people think so far front is winning and we'll see because i might i might just start signing them on the front going forward although newt will be a little tricky because it's black and i don't think i have a thin silver sharpie like i have a regular silver one but and i have a silver gel pen i don't think that would really work it'd probably just smudge i can test it but 
I don't think it's gonna go well. What about like a fine point Posca pen? <laughs> but not something too noticeable. You know, you don't have to be obnoxious. If it's on black, I could use a gray. Do I even have gray as a fine tip? Oh, I actually have silver. I don't know if I want it to be too noticeable. I can play around. I can see what I like. I mean, why am I grabbing this now? I'm not signing the new prints right now. <laughs> I'll try it another day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to use colors that kind of blend in so it's not crazy noticeable. I want it to blend in a little bit. That way it's not taking away from the art. Okay, let's see where the where the poles at. 57% say front, 14% say back, and 29% say don't care. I think that means I should do the front. Yeesh. She squish, she squish, she arch her baby back. Oh my. Just like this, just little, little in the corner. A color that blends in. She wants Daddy to throw it. So it's now the next morning. It's Thursday. It's just about 7 a.m. and I'm sitting here at Canadian Tire <laughs> at 7 in the morning. This is my one Black Friday thing I'm going for. My one thing. It's technically Red Thursday, but <laughs> I'm here to get a cat tree. I'm here this early because I have a stream at 8 and pin stuff to do after and like I don't know if the thing I want is going to be sold out after probably not I'm here for a cat tree everyone's probably here for like tools and stuff like that the Dyson vacuum that's $200 off I don't know I had, I had a flyer <laughs> but yeah there's this cat tree that's regular $150 on sale for 50 and we've been wanting to put a cat tree in the corner of the kitchen and this one's the perfect height to sit right at the window it's exactly what we've been wanting and it's only 50 bucks so I'm here to buy it. There's a lineup of people out the door though, like, because uh, they're not quite open yet. It's like, I didn't think people actually lined up for stuff here in Canada. Like Black Friday hasn't even been a huge thing till like a few years ago. Even then certain places just don't have good sales, but I guess people are coming here because Canadian Tire is the kind of place to have good sales. So I guess that makes sense. Stuff's like 80% off certain items, 65% off like my nails and stuff like that. There's they have lots of sales. So I guess I will venture over. Mm -mm. All the buildings look really pretty right now. They have the Christmas lights on top. Mmm, so cute. Okay, let's go. Ugh. Okay, the line just got let in. I just didn't want to be a line person. Normally I am, but for Canadian Tire, no. So I also wanted this shovel and they're right beside each other on the shelf. It's like it's meant to be. <laughs> took me a while to find it but once I did it was all there so I'm back in the car but you know what I realized I remembered that my window scraper is busted so I'm gonna go back in for a window scraper this place really filled up too it's busier now but I just I'm here <laughs> tis the season to need a window scraper you don't need it that often in Vancouver but you know going back in. I'm going to look, look like that idiot who went in the store just for a window scraper. <laughs> I mean, that's normal on a normal day, but like red Thursday morning. Hmm. Some people were a little crazy in there, like snatching as much stuff as they could, going really fast or on the phone. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's me at the Disney store. <laughs> when I went in the second time, I almost turned around and left because the line was so long. <laughs> I ended up grabbing three things, of course. So this is a windshield cleaner. I need this all the time. This is for the inside of your windshield because 
there's always so much condensation. I never had this issue till I moved to Vancouver. So finally got something for that. Usually I'm sitting there with my sleeve, if I have one, and trying to clean it off. <laughs> the only thing is, I don't know how well this will work in the winter because the condensation turns to frost. And these things don't work on the inside of the windshield because of the curvature. So we'll see how it works. Like this morning I have frost, so eh. And then I got more scissors because I've been wanting more scissors. And I saw them in the checkout aisle and I was like, it's meant to be. So three pairs for $5 is pretty good, Keek. Pretty good. And then this is my window scraper slash brush. Christian, what do you think of this snow brush? Weird. Yeah. It's not a brush on the end. It's like... Squeegee Yeah. Scratch-free telescopic snow brush. It was regular $30 on sale for $6.88. So this stuff has to go back in the car, but I can take the packaging off later today. Thank you. Okay, my stream starts in 15 minutes. I think I'll do Ring Fit Adventure today because I've been just doing DDR lately. Oh, I gotta move some crap off the floor. This is all in my way. Okay, it is later in the day. And uh, look what arrived. This was delivered while I was in the shower. I had to hop out, throw my robe on while I was still wet and race to the door. I almost missed the delivery. These all are number 27 on their certificates, which is a really low number. It's out of 5,200. And just look at these beauties. And you just don't see much merch from Hercules or Hunchback. So I'm so excited that we have Meg and Esmeralda. I love the layers on this one. And there's embroidery on there. Ooh, gorgeous. This one, she has a dark section of her dress, but it just blends into the box. So think of how gorgeous it'll look when she's outside the box. It's just beautiful, beautiful. And we have Cinderella here. She's got a big bow. <laughs> But she has lots of embroidery, which is super nice. Because someone like Meg, she didn't get embroidery on the bottom. I felt like she deserved that. She has some on her bodice, but that all should have been embroidery at the bottom. Even if it was just a slightly more simple design. Because the embroidery is so nice. So nice. Then we have oh, Rapunzel. I feel like her bodice could be a little more detailed. It just feels... A bit plain compared to designer dolls normally, but she has this really nice skirt section of her dress. I love the petal look. It's giving me some Tiana vibes. I just love that. I really like this one. I really like all of them. And speaking of Tiana, she is in this set. Technically, she was one of the D23 Expo exclusives. So she's over here in the warehouse. These ones are pears with princes and stuff. We have Aurora, Giselle, and Tiana. These are all gonna go in my display case once I receive it. They're all coming out of their boxes. They're pretty, pretty boxes, but it just, it must be done. I also really love the outer piece of the boxes because these are the front pieces I took off, but then they also have this wrapped around them. It has these beautiful designs cut into it and there's gold on it. Just stunning boxes. But they're coming off. There's this closet downstairs that I dedicate to storing doll boxes and other types of collectible boxes. So those can go in there. For now, they're staying in because I don't have time to debox these right now. I'll probably do a live stream once all the store stuff is done, like all orders are shipped out. I'll probably do a doll unboxing live stream or something. I took some pictures that I can post to social media later. Not now because I'm, I, need to, I need to get going on the pin stuff. But here's the artwork on the back of the boxes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so cute. I love it. I actually have prints of these. I forgot I had those. <laughs> I got them at the convention. <laughs> but yeah, they're back in their boxes. And I'm going to put this stuff away, flatten cardboard, put it in the recycling, and get cracking on pins. I need to hit my quota of 400. 400 pins graded. I'm gonna work on some Kiki Midna pins next. I think tomorrow I will film 
a pin ASMR video, but I can choose whether or not to use it. And I also might save it to not be my next video, but the one after. That's why I'm saving some of the ginger buns and cutie pines because those are the new ones and I want to use those in the video. So I, uh, I can do that tomorrow, but today I'm going to get cracking on these ones. These ones are a little trickier to use with this device because the pins on the back are diagonal. And so I have to have it at the right angle. And if it's not perfect, it kind of like sticks. I'm getting the hang of it of where to put this. I just have to place the kicky tail towards the edge and then the angle is good. Ugh, sorry, I freaking love this thing. I love the way these ones look on the backing cards. They just fill it out so nicely. I'm just loving the square so much. Okay, I've done all 200 Kiki Midnas. I'm moving on to Amazing Ort. And it's interesting because I have to really rearrange this one to make it fit on a square card because this is the old look. There are still some in clear plastic and these are just gonna stay like that. And then I'm gonna take the backs off these ones though, like the ones that are just in the glassine. I'm gonna replace the backings with these ones. And there are so many for this one. There are a lot of leftovers. Either my inventory was off when I weighed everything or, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that is about what I was supposed to have for leftovers, but not many orders with this went missing. Who knows? So yeah, before I start on the 200 amazing Ort pins, I gotta do these ones first. I just feel like they look silly like this in this glassine. Like it just, it doesn't fill out the glassine the way the square ones do. So there's the comparison between the two cards. I actually really like how these ones are not glossy. It's just a soft touch card. It's what it's called. <laughs> it does feel soft, but it has more of a matte finish to it, whereas this one is very shiny. I mean, I do like glossy stuff, <laughs> but this is also really cool. All right, I met my pin quota for the day. I'm gonna sign a few prints before bed, but I probably won't have much time. But I'm ending the vlog here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I want to peep one of each of the new ones. So this is the extra heavy cardstock with the hollow 